This is the Wisco Boater Channel. My name is Chad. This will be the official closing uh, sale video of Thirsty Whale. Uh, before we get to that in a few days, uh, today is Friday, uh, December 8th, and I'm here to install new batteries, new house, uh, new house and a new anchor battery in Thirsty Whale. Uh, the old ones were just old. They still they still functioned, but I did use them quite a bit over the summer, and I had two new batteries to put in anyway. So I'll take the old ones out. Uh, I took the old ones out. I'll keep those at home uh, for use there, and uh, we'll go inside and put the new uh, the new AGMs in. So the other thing I have to do is get the um, get the boat cushions back from the upholstery shop. Should have those here in a couple of days, and reinstall those. And then it's time to officially sign uh, Thirsty Whale over to new owners. So, we have so pretty excited about that. And then I get to boat shop, which is good and bad. So looking forward to it. Hopefully it's not too frustrating. Um, but uh, yeah, that'll be a fun time. So we'll head inside the building and uh, put two new batteries in Thirsty Whale. First is putting in new batteries. This will be the house and anchor battery. Replacing them with the same thing that was in there before, AGMs. Uh, group 27 batteries challenging part is getting these heavy really heavy batteries up the extension ladder and up into the boat so got to do that and then i will get the cushions from the upholstery shop uh, for the bow get those reinstalled and then it'll be time to uh, officially close the books on the on thirsty wheel for me so <clears throat> So I'm not gonna film putting the batteries in, just a simple matter of, well, <laughs> should be a simple matter of, uh, I say should because getting the batteries up the ladder is not easy, but uh, uh, simple anyway. Um, getting them uh, back down in the uh, in the engine room, hooking up the wires and, uh, and that'll be done, so. All right, two new batteries installed. Got all the wires hooked up. You can see these are August of 23 batteries, both of them. So this battery's house, that one is anchor, and uh, new owner should be set. I already had these batteries, um, so I decided to uh, go ahead and install these and just took the old ones out, and uh, I'll just, the old ones were not, not necessarily bad, they were just old, or older, so just replaced them with the exact same interstate AGM batteries, and uh, I've got a couple of spare batteries for whatever 12 volt needs I might have at home. Uh, with the battery switch turned on, I've got the lights on the uh, SVS monitor, all green, showing all batteries with uh, three, three and a half light bars lit up. So they're all full charge. And it scrolls through all of them. And if I shut the batteries off, SVS shuts off, so we're all good. And we'll get the covers put back on. So all I have left now is get the, uh, the bow cushions back from the upholstery shop and get those installed and that will be it. Thirsty Whale is almost not mine. Back up on Thirsty Whale. Today I'm here to put the bow cushions on the boat. So I got those back from the upholsterer. But before I do that, I need to deliver papers to Brock to uh, sign off on the Coast Guard documentation and the remaining sales paperwork. So I'll go do that first, and then we'll put some bow cushions on. All right, well, the news is I just closed on Thirsty Whale early. It was supposed to happen uh, Tuesday, but uh, this is Friday, December 15th. It was supposed to happen on the 19th, but um, came out here to look at another boat, which you'll see soon. And uh, Brock had all the paperwork ready for me. So, Thirsty Whale is no longer mine. But I'm going to go inside and put the uh, 
new cushion and the other cushions that were repaired back on the boat. And uh, we'll say goodbye to Thirsty Whale. Okay, so I got the new cushions thrown up here. Our new cushion and the repaired cushions thrown up here. This here's the new one. All right, so there's the new bow cushion. That's the one that flew off the boat. Uh, well, it's the replacement for the one that flew off the boat. And uh, they did a really nice job of matching the color up. Um, the lighting in here uh, makes it look uh, like one's a little less shiny than the other, but this one is brand new vinyl, so they did a real nice job. And then on the back of the seat backs here, he restitched the uh, the strap back on, so they should sit nicely once they're back in place. All right, perfect. They fit in exactly as they as they should. They sit a lot nicer now with the new straps on the seat backs and the new cushion. The snaps lined up perfectly. Uh, since uh, Dave, which I'll give a quick plug here, Dave's Auto and Marine Upholstery here in Sturgeon Bay did this new cushion for me uh, and without having anything but a mirror uh, to go off of to make the replacement cushion he did a fantastic job snaps line up great and uh, looks awesome so get the cover put back on yeah. okay for the last time on board thirsty whale hope you guys enjoyed watching uh, the thirsty whale segment of my youtube channel i know i had a fantastic time owning this boat and they say that the best days of a boat owner's life is the day you buy it and the day you sell it. And I honestly can say I don't agree with that. Um, this is a sad day. Uh, it was sad when I sold Clifford, uh, but was happy that that happened to get this and was thrilled to get this. And now I'm sad selling it, but uh, I will be shopping for boats going forward and uh, looking to replace Thirsty Well with something a little bit smaller that I can use more often. And I hope that the new owners, if you guys watch this, I hope you love this boat as much as I did. And I hope that Thirsty Well takes as good a care of you as she did me. Thanks for watching this episode. <clears throat>